Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. The other day, I did a manual install of Arch Linux with encryption in a real bare metal computer. And during that installation, I made two mistakes. So today, I'm going to correct that error. So let's get to it. So right now, I'm in my main production computer. I'm going to turn on my capture card and record my other computer. This is the computer I used in my last video where I installed Arch Linux the manual way with encryption. And of course, it's running Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. And I'm just going to open up Xterm and I'm going to type in fast fetch. So you can see this is Arch Linux. It's the Aspire X3950 and it's running the awesome window manager. I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to do an HTOP. And this computer has 8 gigs of RAM. And with the awesome window manager, it's running at 360 megabytes of RAM. Not bad, eh? Like I said in the introduction, I'm going to fix two mistakes I made. So the first mistake I made was in the host name called a Dell-2. And I intended to call it Acer-2 because this is my one of two Acers that I have. And when I put the host name in, I said it's easier to fix after the fact. And it is. So I'm going to put this command in sudo vim etsy host name and i'm going to hit enter well it's asking for my password and i'm just going to go up here and change this acer-2 okay i'm going to save the file and if i uh, well close down my terminal and go back in you can see it hasn't changed and it's not going to change until i reboot well let's just see let's go um let's close that let's log out let's put my password back in enter still not going to fix it though right and the reason being is i have to reboot and the other mistake I made in the video was this. I'm going to sudo vim etsy locale gen. And put my password in. And here, line 152 is not correct. So I uncommented or I activated line 151 and 152. I should have done 150 and 151. So 152, now it doesn't seem to have had any bad effect on my install, but I just want it to be right. So I'm going to... Comment out 152, or I'm going to deactivate that line. And I'm going to activate, I'm going to take the hashtag or the number sign out of 150. So that should be like that, right? English Canada UTF, English Canada ISO. Now, like I said, it didn't appear to do any damage to my install, but I just want it to be correct. So the next thing I want to do is to do locale gen. And it's done. Generation complete. Okay. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reboot. Uh, shouldn't have shut my uh, thing. <laughs> reboot. Let's reboot. Okay, so it's asking for my encryption password. I'm going to type it in. I'm going to hit enter. Oh, and I turned off light DM. <laughs> I forgot I did that. So I'm going to type in my username. Uh, we're going to log in with Stardex. I'm going to put my password in. And I'm going to type in Stardex. And there we are. So let's open up a terminal. And there we are. You can see I changed the host name. The host name is now Acer-2. And like I said, in, when I was doing the install, it's easy to change the host name after the fact. And that's it. In this video, I corrected two mistakes I made in a previous video where I did a manual install of Arch Linux with encryption in a real bare metal computer. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mensch.